bunnies. Happy um, almost Scorpio season. I know we're not quite there yet, but we're on the cusp. So, that being said, it is spooky season, which is my favorite month. You guys know I love October. Speaking of which, where is my spooky deck? I was going to use it, and I don't know where it is. I gotta find it. I don't know. Anyways, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. We are going to be using the Intimate deck. This one right here. So, if you don't like tasteful nudity and art, then please, you know, bypass it. Do not report me. Just go along your way. Everything is tastefully done. You know, if you're that much of a prude that you are uncomfortable with your own sexuality and the sexual images in these cards, then go find something to do with your damn time <laughs> besides bothering me. And this reading is going to be 18 and over, obviously, because I'm using the dirty deck. It was just 111 on my phone. So no weapons shall prosper against me. If you don't like it, then I am protecting my energy right now. So... Okay. Okay, so let's start right in. I'm going to start out with my um, Beauty of Horror Tarot because it's October. It's my favorite month. It's spooky month and I have to. All right. So what do we got? What is the first things we need to know? I need to make room. All right, so what is the first thing we need to know? Spirit? I am an open channel. <clears throat> the veil is thin. Speak through me, to me, and for me. Allow me to be the clearest channel for spirit messages, source messages, the ancestors of the ages, the angels, anyone who wants to experience love. Let them experience it now in this moment with me. I don't know where the hell that came from. Sometimes I be channeling some crazy shit. Whoa, five of wands. We keep getting that card. So there's this overall energy of like people experiencing just like conflicts and conflicting feelings. Whoa. Well, someone's conflicted over a female, a queen of wands, to be exact, a fire sign. They are feeling some type of way, trying to fight off some really strong emotions. Good luck with that. Anytime you try to fight anything off, it just comes back stronger. So, like I said, good luck. All right. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. See, working really hard to fight off emotions. <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. Let's keep pulling cards, shall we? I think you're fighting a losing battle if you ask me, but... Two more cards, please, sir. Yep, see, we got King of Swords. So someone being way too logical, thinking about a future with this person, this queen of wands, but, oh, we got the chariot again. Oh, uh, okay. We got, we literally have two cards of fighting off emotions. You know, in these love readings, when these cards come out, we have five of wands, we have the chariot fighting this one is fighting off a lot of desire, a lot of sexual desire, a lot of sexual tension, fighting it. Who's in control? Is it you or is it the horses? Or in this case, is it you or the casket? Who's in control? So you may think by shoving these emotions down and using logic to um, sort of explain away these feelings that you're feeling for this Queen of Wands right here. But the fact of the matter is you're drawn to her for a reason. 
<clears throat> there is a reason that her sensuality and her sexuality are drawing you in. Is it to heal? Is it to love? What is the reason? What is she reflecting back to you? Okay. If you're drawn to her, it is for a purpose. And you fighting, working hard to fight off these feelings is going to do nothing but create inner turmoil and conflict within yourself. Using too much logic and using too much mind instead of heart. These need to be balanced in order for you to find the, the best path for you and your highest good. Now, look, this is, um, I mean, it's a divine masculine energy, but, you know, put it where it fits in. It's not about sexual gender. If you relate more to this divine masculine energy, then it's for you. You found this reading for a reason. My, my readings are timeless and there's a reason for that. But look, looking out on the horizon, knowing that something's missing, looking out to the future, but feeling like there's something that is missing. Look at this king of swords. He rules, but look at how miserable he looks. Look at his face. He's got a beautiful kingdom, but he looks out at his kingdom. He looks out and he sees nothing. He sees light in the background, in the future. And he goes, you know, I see, I see the light. He sees something shining in the background that's getting his attention. But, you know, there's some kind of, um, there's some kind of conflict going on within him, you know? All right, we're going on to the light seers. Light seers. Ooh, this deck. I need my need to get a new deck. This this deck is has been in the sun. Let me tell you. All right, what what else do we got, spirit? What else do we need to know? So long story short, we got some divine masculine energy, again, fighting off some feelings for a queen of wands, possible fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, queen of wands is very sensual. She's very sexual. Um, she's, she's got an earthy fire energy about her. She's not afraid to be confident in who she is. She's up front with her feelings. Three of Wands. See? There's that Divine Feminine 2 energy looking out. We, got, we had Three of Wands twice. What are you waiting for? You're standing there on the shore. Look it. This is a Divine Feminine. Standing there on the shore looking out. You know, um, she's surrounded by her fire and her passion. She's letting her fire and her passion rule her energy, right? But she's also looking towards the future. She's looking towards other things. She's waiting for her love ship to come in, right? She's got everything else, right, that she wants. Oh, yep. See? Okay, let's keep going, Spirit. So for the Divine Feminines, you are letting go of a lot of heavy energy right now. You let go of a lot of stuff. You're moving forward. You're learning new things focused on yourself. You're learning to go with the flow. And it shows me that justice will be served. We got justice here, which means you're getting what you deserve in love. There it is. Boom. Kunani. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. So look, six of swords. You have learned to go with the flow. Okay. You're letting the waves take you where they will. Okay. Page of wands, learning new things. You have lots of reasons to feel joyful. Okay. 
And this is a beautiful energy to be in because it's attracting literally everything that you are trying to manifest and you are trying to bring into your reality from your vortex, okay? If you don't know what that is, look up Abraham Hicks. She talks a lot about the vortex. But you are creating your best life, literally piece by piece, because you're using your energy. Okay, so you're using this, this focus on yourself and this these reasons, whatever it is, that you're finding to be joyful, okay? Look, this is my joy card. The Whatever it is that you're doing, you're learning, the ways that you're finding joy, okay, is bringing in this energy of justice. Now, this is Libra energy. We're coming out of Libra season, right? So, but Libra season is all about justice, the scales being evened out, getting what you deserve, okay? And woohoo, Oh, divine feminines. This, you have done your work. You have done your work. And it shows. Because look at what's next. We have Ten of Cups. This is everything that your heart, your beautiful, beautiful heart has, is desiring right now, right? You're not living in fear. See, the divine masculine was is having some fear energy. Right now, there was this, I just did a reading for, is this your story? And there was a lot of fear fear energy again coming from the divine masculine and from the divine feminine she's in a total different headspace i mean look at this she's also looking out to the future just like the divine masculine we got the three of wands for the divine masculine as well but she's looking out there and she's she's using her fire her creativity she's letting her passion engulf her she's letting it lead the way you see how she's surrounded by the fire that's, you know, her, her following her passions, her creative endeavors, right? Letting go, releasing, finding joy, learning new things. And because of that, the universe says, the scales have tipped in your favor and here is your Ten of Cups. Okay, one second, I have to pause. Whew, sorry about that, guys. My kid took a shit. So yeah, um, mom stuff. My kid took a poop. He's four. So, <laughs> yeah, y'all don't know. Mom duty, I'm 42 and I have a four year old and I'm doing this. So, <laughs> y'all need to show a little bit of gratitude. Give me a, a big tip or something because, you know, I'm, I'm doing this reading. My four year old pooped. He's still in pull ups. I went, I changed his diaper, I washed my hands, I went pee, the toilet paper roll ran out, I had to go into the other closet to get some toilet paper and put it in the toilet paper roll and then I had to come in here and try to hurry up so that my video didn't unpause so I could be here for you guys, okay? So I made it, I'm not giving up, I'm a resourceful little bitch and that's why I'm here, we are gonna keep going. Okay, so we're gonna end at that at that um <laughs> we're gonna end at that part for the divine feminine okay so let's pull some romance angels actually no i don't want to pull this the romance angels i'm gonna pull from the bodhi tarot so let's let's pull some of these I am tapping into the collective, the co I can't even talk, the highest collective energy field right now, okay? What do we need to know coming up on this Scorpio season? Self-love is important at this time. Put yourself first. Take care of yourself and be gentle with yourself. Thank you. Don't worry about the poopy diapers. Just be present. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Love is in the air. You are attracting someone you truly desire. The partner you've always dreamed about. About the fucking time, right? <laughs> I know it. We're going to get two more. Oh, let's get one more. All right. We have... It takes courage to get out of your comfort zone, but doing so will lead you to opportunities you've always dreamed about. So
So Spirit has given you that shove to get out of your comfort zone. Your love life is improving. The work you've put in to improve yourself is changing your beliefs and attracting the right people into your life. Beautiful. There you go. All right. There's your proof that your self-love is improving your connections. <clears throat> Your love life has been complicated, all for very good reasons. You must learn these lessons to attract the love you deserve. So you chose a harder path because you knew that in order for your soul to evolve into your greatest um, triumph of love in this lifetime, you had to have a complicated love life. You had to learn all of your love lessons. You may have chose a really hard karmic path in regards to love. So you might be feeling like right now that your love life has been very, very hard and very complicated and all for good reason. You had to get those lessons out and you had to learn them. Why is my light not on? You had to get those lessons out. <laughs> See, I'm all discombobulated. You had to get those lessons out and you had to learn them early on so that when your great love came, you could be prepared for that great love, right? Because that is what you're trying to manifest, right? Is a great love, a twin flame, twin soul relationship, right? And that's what you deserve. If you found this reading, then by golly, I can guarantee you're a twin flame. I am a twin flame reader. That is what I do. All right, so um, do, 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 do. let's pull some of this oceanic tarot. Yeah, let's 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 pull two cards from here. See what is coming out. Two two cards. See, I have no idea what's gonna come out when I do these reads. I just roll with it, you know. Two cards, please. Whoa, that one flew out. So we're going to take this one, which is death transformation. <clears throat> so we are coming up on Scorpio season, and Scorpio season is all about death and transformation. For those of you that are Scorpios or Scorpio rising, or who have a lot of Scorpio in your chart, this is going to be your main theme for the month of Scorpio. Five of the Wands competition. So there's, there's this energy, and this card keeps coming out as well, too. So there's this energy of people wanting what you have, right? Vying for things that they think they need that you have. And this overall energy of sort of like jealousy, um, and five, the number five, which is change, right? So try to not let yourself get wrapped up in the chaos or the jealousy or, you know, um, by all means, remain humble. When your success comes rolling in, which it will, um, especially I feel like in this, these, this month, these months coming up, November, December, some of y'all have been working really hard and you're going to reap the benefits of that, right? That's what this feels like. And it, it, a lot of people are not going to be happy about that <laughs> because, you know, they're going to say, well, what's so special about this person when in reality, you know, they just didn't follow their soul's calling and not everybody has the courage to do that. It, it's, it's not an easy path, you know, to follow your soul's calling and to not let fears of, you know, needing that stability or knowing when you're where your next paycheck is going to come from like i live by the you know by my fire my soul's fire so i just do what i feel led to and at times it gets really scary there's times when like my bills are due and i'm like what am i doing like am i gonna have the money to pay these off and always 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 miraculously at the last minute Spirit comes through and I always have everything paid on time. Always. So, but it's really hard to live that path and to and to embrace it and to trust it. And, you know, not everybody can do it. And so those people that don't 
live their life by this path are going to be like, well, why is this person getting this and getting that? And it's because we trust. We trust. We have faith. We have given our life to spirit and said, I trust you. I trust myself. And we give ourselves over and surrender. Okay. We stop wondering where is the money going to come from? How is this going to get paid? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? And we just trust that everything that we need is going to come to us when we need it. And that is not an easy way to live. Trust me. I have three children and living this way sometimes is scary as off. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> but I've always been taken care of. So when your fucking gifts and your um, stuff starts rolling in, there's going to be a lot of jealousy. Fuck them. Be successful anyways. You've earned it. <laughs> okay, we're going to get one more card and we'll be done. Two of Swords, Crossroads. So a decision needs to be made about something. Let's see. Let's pull one more card. Why do we have the Two of Swords here? What decision needs to be made? A decision about what? What is the decision that needs to be made? <clears throat> What is the decision, please, Spirit? Can you give us some enlightenment about the decision at the crossroads? Ace of Swords, victory. Wow, so they didn't really give us any really good feedback about that. I can read it and see. You know, like every tarot book is different. And this one is no exception. It says beginnings, decisions. Again, see? <laughs> decisions. So we have two cards of a decision. So I, they're not really stating what the decision is. I asked for clarity and they gave us more decisions. It just says, a breakthrough as you cut through confusion to win power and success. I told you, didn't I say when your success comes, there's going to be some that are going to want what you have, competition. And, but yet... It says you're going to triumph. It says, the ace reveals you will benefit from a smart decision that leads to immediate victory. If you've been beset by uncertainty or delays in your plans, this ace shows a breakthrough as you cut through confusion to win power and success. See, I told you, I told you guys, I'm good at my job. You're going to, if you book a reading with me, I know what I'm talking about. I literally said some of you are going to be getting some success breakthroughs. Because you've been working hard. I said that. And then we got two of swords. Um, a decision. And bam. There it is. A success card. It says in relationships you'll make a positive new beginning. Um, it's a card of mental clarity. A legal victory. There you go. Or a triumph in an argument or a debate. Use your intelligence and victory is yours. See it says right here. Beginnings, decisions, action, clarity, determination, solutions, and ideas. So if you have any divinely inspired ideas about where your career path should be going, follow it, follow it because it's going to lead to your success, which is going to make a lot of haters to drink their haterade. It was just 23, 23. Okay, let's pull some cards from the Love Oracle. I'm just, I'm just flowing with it. I have no idea where this reading is going, where it's headed. We're just rolling with it, all right? That's all. What do we got, Spirit? What do we need to know? This reading is for me as much as it is for you guys. So, you know, I predict the highest timeline for all of us. So, we gonna go with this, all right? We got this. You know, obviously, I do personal reads for myself, too, when I have a chance, but pretty much the same. Told you. Divine timing. You have to be patient because when your ship comes in, it's going to come in. Believe me, we're all on different timelines. But if you're watching this reading, your ship is on the way. It's right around the corner. <laughs> It'll be here in about three days. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, seriously, it's coming. Divine timing. The universe picks the perfect time and the perfect moment to give you your gifts. And look at, for some of us, 
that gift is coming in the form of a magnetic attraction. A new boo-boo. <laughs> this person has been drawn to you for a long time. And for those of you that were waiting on that message, bam, there it is. So it's been divine timing, right? All of your gifts, all of your blessings, all coming in at once. There is someone who's been magnetically attracted to you for a long time. They've been silent. I don't know why. Nobody knows the reason. But look, that message is coming through. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have healing. It's because you've done your healing work. Da -da -da -da. Let's pull one card from the Romance Angels. And then we're going to pull from this sexual tarot deck and see um, how, you know, this person wants to be loving on you, okay? Yeah, we're going to go there today. It's going to be great. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a crazy mood. I had to change a shitty diaper. My kids interrupted my last reading like 15 times, so I'm in some kind of mood today. I'm just letting spirit flow. I flow, Okay. Ooh, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it is your time to shine. It is your time to love. Let go of all the fear. Let go of all the trauma. Let go of all the pain. Let go of all the suffering. Let go of all the limited beliefs. And allow yourself to love. You are right now perfect. Perfect as you are. And you are lovable as you are not richer not thinner not more beautiful not more healed right now in this moment you are perfectly perfect for love i'm going to say it again you are perfectly perfect for love as you are right now you don't need to change anything unless you want to you are worthy of love right now as you are worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life i told you for some of you the reason this love has taken so long to get to you is because spirit had to custom make this person just for you like literally it's like if they took your heart's desire and they said all of that plus 50 million other extra things which are gonna wow your ass i'm serious that's it was it it took so long because it was so good it was so juicy it was so delicious okay it was worth waiting for spirit said oh you think that you know you deserve this no you don't you deserve way much way 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 much better than you think you deserve and they had to wait until you were ready to believe that you were worthy of it and as soon as you felt, they felt your vibration shift and your frequency change and they knew that you knew, they knew that you knew that you deserved it. They were like, we're bringing it in. Here it is. Do, 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 do. There's your person. That's why it took so long though. They were waiting on you. They're waiting on you to shift your perception and your perspective and your vibration. Can not make it up? All right, let's go. Uh, a minute tonight, you guys. I'm glad this reading, you know, spilled forth from my fucking loins because I had to go out. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I just said. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm in some type of mood tonight. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm a fire sign. We on fire. Okay. The fire sign's on fire. All right. Let's go. So, let's get some sexual clues how does this person want to love on you let's do it what is the desires of their heart what they want to say with their body whoa that one flew the fuck out okay so it's kind of cops there's an offering of love some of you um i keep getting this vision of chocolate so they It'll be a clue if someone sends you chocolates or they mention chocolate. I don't know. Maybe your person really, really likes chocolate. And in this card, it looks like she's offering him a piece of chocolate. I don't, I don't know for sure, but it might not be chocolate, but it feels like chocolate. Your person is a hugger. They love to hug. There's, it's very Ace of Wands type energy too. So very sexual, 
possible fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. <clears throat> the lizard on the card to me represents wands. Like the salamander. They love to hug. Ooh, they're very playful. We're definitely dealing with a fire sign. All right, so this is the card. See, she's offering something to him. It feels like um, an offering of love. There's, I don't know, it looks like chocolate. It doesn't have to be, I mean, it could be a flower, but if you look down here, these things look almost like, um, what are those things called? They start with an M. Ugh, maroons? No, maroons. I can't think of what they're called. Mac macaroons? Macaroons. I don't know. I'm channeling something and I don't understand what it is. I think they're saying macaroons. I don't even know what those are. But if you know what they are, if you know what I'm trying to get at, it's some kind of pastry. It's like chocolate. It looks like a little burger. <laughs> Spirit be showing me some crazy shit. So if that resonates with you, comment down below. I have no idea what the fuck I'm channeling. Um, so the seven, this is, I think this is seven of wands. So th this is the energy of a fire sign. L very, um, they like to cuddle. They like to hug. And like I said, we're dealing with the fire sign. Look, we got fire right here again. You probably can't see that. The glare is too strong. There's a torch here. Four of Wands. So this person definitely wants to create some stability with you. They want to, to build a life with you. The Four of Wands is about, you know, having a home, um, marriage, things like that. There's also, obviously, some playful energy. Look, they're on a lover's swing. We also got fire in this background right there that I didn't notice. You see that? <clears throat> All right, let's get three more cards from this. And then we're going to do a mermaid message, spirit message, and wrap it up. Because when it gets to 34 minutes, it's going to go into another video. And I'll have to splice them together and edit it, which is okay. But Knight of Wands, I told you, someone is ready and geared up to offer some love. We have Knave of Wands. I'm sorry, that... So, Knave of Wands is Page of Wands, and then we have Knight of Wands. <clears throat> so, yes, this is all fire sign energy. Someone wants to come in with an offer of love. It could be a possible fire sign also with a water sign like um, Pisces, Scorpio. What's the other water sign? What's the other water sign? I don't know. Pisces, Scorpio. There's another water sign I'm missing. Is it Cancer? It's Cancer. Um, because, oh no, that's not water. That's a tree. Okay, so I was wrong. I thought it was water for some reason. Well, some of you might be dealing with a water sign because that's what I, upon, uh, see it already went into another file. So upon closer inspection, I thought this was a wave. I thought these were waves. Upon closer inspection, come to find out it's a tree. So we have earth sign energy. We have all signs energy here. Earth sign, fire sign. Again, there's that fire in the background. So this tells me that this person, whoever I'm chilling for, it was just 333 on my phone, on my camera. Very passionate, very passionate, very fiery, very romantic. Knight of Wands, look, the most romantic, um, one of the most romantic signs in the deck. They're very passionate and... They're riding on a horse, so it's very like white knight, romantic, chivalrous type energy. We're going to get one more card. What else does this person want us to know? Whoever I'm channeling for, what do they want? Whoever's watching to know, last card. Oh, they cannot find the right words to say though. They have written you a million love letters, a million poems, and they crinkle them up and they throw them away. They just cannot find the words to tell you how they feel. <laughs> and again, we have, look, the black cat, which represents like hidden shadows. Um, this person could possibly practice witchcraft or like, you know, like, you know be like a wizard or a witch. The black cat's knee represents magic. 
To me, this feels like a person who could possibly be a writer or a poet. Uh, again, fire sign energy. There's the candle. Very passionate. They've seen you before with other people and it literally drives them crazy. And that it was almost enough to push them to the edge to come forward and speak to you, yet they didn't. You see that? He's there is a divine feminine and a divine masculine back here and they're kissing under the moonlight and this person has been aware of you so whether you're a divine feminine or divine masculine doesn't matter this person has seen you with other people and it, they didn't like it it was almost enough energy like i said to bring them out but and look at that on the bottom of the deck we have five of cups and there it is. This is my twin flame card. I told you there's a flame right there. Again, fire sign energy, but this is twin flame. I'll tell you why. There's a face in the mirror. It's, it's her reflection. So this is the mirror card, right? Your person reflecting back to you what's in your soul. Mirror flame, twin flame. This is my twin flame card for this deck. All right, so we are going to get a mermaid message from your person. <clears throat> this is the last thing that they want to tell to you, that they want to say to you the deepest heart's desires that they cannot bring themselves to tell you. But I'm going to tell you from them. I got you. last thing they need to know spirit <clears throat> to wrap this reading up i see our star sh star seed ships some nights some nights so this person might be a sky watcher they might watch for alien ships at night i'm sorry i know i hurt you and i feel like i'm drowning when i look into your eyes so, um, again, we got the energy of um, a star seed. So, your person is a star seed, okay? It says, I see our star seed ships some nights. So, if you're a star seed, most likely your person is a star seed and they have a tendency to look up at the sky. And when they see the stars at night or they see the, the ships up there, then it reminds them of you because they know that you have had lives on these galaxies together as a star seed. And they're saying they see there's your star seed ships where you guys have had, you know, maybe different missions, you know, together, right? The rainbow is also indicative of a reunion. So if you're in separation from your twin flame, there's hope. And in, the next card says, I'm sorry, I know I hurt you. So your person is saying, yes, I did. I did hurt you and they're sorry. Take that how it resonates. <clears throat> there has to be been a reason that they did what they did. Possible, probably, most likely trauma. It's not an excuse. I'm not excusing their bad behavior. But remember that your twin soul is a mirror. So they're only mirroring the hurt that you are radiating out due to a past wound, right? And it says, it feels like I'm drowning when I look into your eyes. So they have a thing about your eyes. They love your eyes. They are in love with your eyes. To them, it feels like they're drowning in a pool of desire when they look into your eyes. <clears throat> they need to come up for that breath of air when they're staring into your eyes. You know, I seen this um, this a post on Instagram that said something about twin flame eye contact is very, very intense. So if you were to, for example, look at a picture of your twin flame or, you know, look into your twin flame's eyes, you know, somehow, you know, even if you guys are not have never met in the physical, like say, for example, 
you know, you do what I do. Like maybe you are a social media, you read tarot, whatever it is. And your twin flame happens to stumble upon you or your, or your picture or a video that you made, you know, on your social media. If they were to look into your eyes, even just from the picture or from the video, they would feel an instant shooting of like desire and sexual strong sexual desire but also this surge of like comfort and home and feelings of intimacy because they know you okay so we're gonna wrap this reading up it's got really long and um i keep getting interrupted so we're gonna end with the spirit message and we're gonna call it a reading I also saw this really great post on Instagram that talked about that we sort of attract um, the shadow side of us. You know, this woman was talking about like to look at yourself almost like a yin yang symbol. So the dark side is, or the, yeah, I think it was, she said the dark side is like what you show to the world, and the white side is the things that you hide because you think they're not socially acceptable so if you're showing the dark side off which and it's not I'm not saying like the dark side but I'm saying like you know the shadow side which and it's confusing because it is the shadow side but we're not talking about like a shadow like shadow work like we're talking about this the dark side of the yang symbol is what you show to the world it's like what you feel is socially acceptable and normal and then the white side would be things that you repress because you're afraid to show. So, for example, you're completely outgoing and that is your side that you show to the world. You're going to attract someone who is quiet because they're going to see those qualities of like the outgoingness in you. And they're going to be like, oh, I like that. And if they're your person is attracted to that because they want those qualities themselves then you're going to attract them in right because they want the quality that you have so your greatest thing that you can do for yourself in order to attract your person is to remember that you're whole and show all aspects of yourself the ones that you don't like especially the ones that you're scared to show the world the you know, the the side of you that likes to read poetry, the side of you that likes to write poetry, the side of you that likes horror films, um, crime thrillers, the side of you that is goofy, the side of you that likes to dance, the, the side of you that likes to twerk, I mean, whatever, the side of you that uh, likes math, I mean, whatever it is you that you think is, is not socially acceptable, show those parts of you because those are going to be... All of those shades of you are what is going to draw your person to you, okay? So the more whole you are and the more aspects of yourself that you show, then the more you're most likely to find someone who's going to mirror those in you. Does that make sense? Okay, so I had to get that out. All right. Because they're going to be... Oh my God, this keeps... We just got this card in the last reading too, so this must be important. But anyway, so the more whole you are, the more aspects of yourself that you show, then you're going to find someone that's attracted to all of those aspects of yourself, okay? Not just a few of them. You want to find someone who's like very similar to you, right? You want to, If you want to find your twin flame, you want someone who has the exact same soul blueprint. Now, how are you going to attract that person in if you only show certain aspects 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 <laughs> certain aspects of your soul the ones that you find socially acceptable and you hide the rest right it was just 444 on my phone okay so we have lady venus downloads and understanding truth is being revealed deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm so pay attention to your dreams pay attention to the downloads that you are hearing in your brain don't um you know dismiss them as like crazy talk what you are hearing in your mind is most likely what you need to know okay don't doubt yourself follow those little 
moments of inspiration and clarity because they come straight from spirit and they're a way for you to connect and go into union with your twin flame okay you're meant to be in union with your twin flame you are not meant to be in separation you're meant to be whole and then to draw in someone who is whole just like you so that you can show the world a greater higher form of love that is what we are meant to do so don't doubt those little messages of clarity that you are getting from your higher self that are leading you straight to your twin soul i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this reading if you want to purchase the reading for me all of my information is in the description box below you're better off finding it if you're on your phone because then the description box you can just click in this little arrow and it will show all of my um prices and everything you can still access the description box from your tv it's just easier from your phone so that being said i love you guys so much if you want to purchase this mermaid deck that um, I created with the beautiful Kimberkiss um, Cosmic Queen. I made the messages and she did the artwork. It is always available for purchase right now um, on my Etsy shop. That link is also in the description box below. My Patreon is as well. Um, my son's channel, check that out as well. We have a lot of fun on his channel. I love you guys so much. Um, I guess that's it. All right, bye.